stream. Sorry I took such a long break. I had to get some schoolwork done. Now that that's out of the way, let's continue with being the best Fallout 4 stream that I know of. I'm also the only Fallout 4 stream I know of, but hey, that's splitting hairs. First, let's go collect our power armor. Also, it ber bereaves me? I don't think I'm using that word correctly. It delights me to know that uh, we might be getting some better power armor soon, so look forward to that, boys and girls. Oh, I can't wait to make my... That subtlety just went out the window. That's right, buddy. It sure did. Actually, before we do that, I have to check something. I'm not sure if I repaired this. Take care of yourself, dear. Okay. But I think I probably did forget to do something relatively important. You're unstoppable. Yeah, I know I am. Uh, weapons. No, that's not sure. It's very easy to stop me. Last minute. No, that's all I want. Marksman stole. That's all we want. Need something? Now we're cooking with gasoline. I'm afraid I'm not much use in a fight anymore. But back in the day, folks used to call me Murphy the Mad Woman. Now. This is an emergency broadcast. Our caravan's under attack by hostile robots and needs some serious help. We're just east of Watts Consumer Electronics. If anyone in the vicinity can come help, now's the time. Ada, loop this message. Yes, sir. I'm sorry. I, I, I wouldn't be very good company right now. Okay, so we have our orders. Ooh, the broadsider. Make a character call yourself George Washington. <laughs> Give yourself the minute mi Men general outfit, walk around with a broadsider. Only walk with Hancock. That would be fun. What? Ooh, crackheads. Oh, hell no. oh, no, you're not. You're not worth my new weapon. No, no, no. You near the wells don't deserve to be shot by Gabby. Yes, I just no scoped his head off. No, it wasn't hard. Just had to line up the shot.
answered your distress call. Jackson? I need to end this. Friends, you dead bastard. We'll be here all week. Zoe has a diary. I don't think I've ever read it before. Oh, uh, where is it? Rest. How is okay. Not sure how her diary is like, but I'll write them. Oh, question was answered. Sorry I couldn't get here in time, Zoe. Even though it's scripted, it still kind of feels like a failure. Jackson has one too. Look at that. Somebody just left him like he was junk. We ran into some hostile robots today. They were peaceful.
pieced together, like the ones we've been making in that workbench. Weird thing is, one of them was spouting something about the mechanist. That they're here to protect the Commonwealth. Yeah, protected my ass. We managed to lose them. Those things were dangerous. Jades and I went back and picked up an arm we shot off. Whoever's making these things is an expert. Maybe even be on my level. I'll have to look into upgrading Ada and Hertz for some better protection. Back in this hollow tape. Huh. It's Dime Store Piper. Hey. Good scavenging and busted robots. If you know what you're doing. There's a note in the background over there. Who's Jackson? Jackson was the leader of this caravan. He had a great mind for technology. In many ways, he is my creator. He installed all my current upgrades. Unfortunately, they were not enough to protect them from the robots. You're upgraded? Yes, modified using a robot workbench based on prototype schematics. The workbench allows for a wide range of robot modifications. Perhaps if I had more sentry bot based defenses, I could have successfully defended my friends against those robots. They must be targeting you for some reason. The probability is high that I am part of that reason. Besides myself, Jackson also created Turing, Hertz, and Porter. Our built-in modifications would be desired pieces of salvage. We knew we ran the risk of encountering more of these hostile robots if we stayed in the Commonwealth. If only we had made the decision to leave. You couldn't have known something like this would happen. The probability of attack was high. I should have forced our departure. In recompense, I will seek justice for my friends and stop these robots from causing further harm. It's time to uncover the source and confront their leader, the Mechanist. Who's the Mechanist? The only information I have comes from the iBot broadcasts, the false claims of peace and justice. The only certainty is that these robots bring only death. You have shown willingness to aid others. I ask that you please assist me in stopping this Mechanist. In return, I can give you the schematics to build your own robot workbench. So you have additional resources in this undertaking. What's a robot workbench? The robot workbench will allow you to create and modify your own robots, given enough resources. I'll do it. I wish I had the proper vocal registry to express my gratitude. Now, we last saw a group of the mechanist robots at the General Atomics factory. You may find information there that will lead us to the mechanist. I will follow and assist with your permission. Are you sure you're up for it? Yes. I will not rest until the mechanist is stopped. Yeah, let's go, Ada. General Atomics has valuable salvage. Chances are high the robots are still there. We've been traveling for a spell. I was hoping to have some words with you. Uh, no? 
Now's a good time. I'm used to flying solo, but I got to admit, working with you makes me think I've been missing out. Having someone watching your back is refreshing, especially since you never know when the Institute is watching you. You've never had a partner? Not for a long time. Besides, partnering up in the railroad can leave you vulnerable. One more person who can bring you to the Institute. Some people at HQ are jealous. You took the big nap and everyone you knew is long gone. Now, hear me out on the silver lining. If a human in the railroad slips up, then they expose friends and loved ones to danger. You're safe from that. Why would the people they care about be in danger? When the coursers start kicking down doors, they don't just hit railroad safe houses. Some friends and family have been known to get axed. Whether the Institute's motivated by vengeance or faulty intel, it doesn't matter to the people left behind. It doesn't matter much to me. I'm a synth. At least that's what they tell me. So I really don't have anything to lose. For Glory and me and the others, it's easier to dedicate ourselves to the cause. I didn't know Deacon was a synth. You're a synth? Why didn't you tell me before? I don't like talking about it. I was one of the first synths they did the whole cranium reboot on, so it's a bit of a botched job. Most synths have fun fake memories. A happy home, a family. Me, I got nothing. And that, well, it does something to you. Since we're traveling together, I want you to take this. It's my recall code. If you ever need to know something about the Institute, read it to me. What's the recall code do? That's the safety net the brain docs put in. An ejector seat to bring back your old synth self. I don't know for certain, but I imagine it's a big old wad of trauma and cupcakes. Except with no cupcakes. Don't use the code unless you absolutely have to. It'll wipe my memories. I'm not sure how much of me will even be left. You know, I'd just feel better if you didn't read it until you need it. <clears throat> Want me back on deck, huh? I gotta admit, things have been pretty quiet without you. Let's go then. I'm all ready to go. You might want to wipe the blood off anything you find there. Oh, she died very unfortunately. I guess I can't really put a dignif- Either of these two women in a dignified position because they kind of stripped them down so I could sell their clothes. Maybe that was a mistake. But where are her other friends? I don't see them. Where's this poor fellow? I just don't see it. <coughs> I think her said tree bot friend either glitched in or I'm just not looking in the right spot. Oh no, it's right there. Okay. 
Did you literally just change? Yeah, he did. He likes that fake wig. Okay, let's go back to Sanctuary. We gotta make Ada into a death dealing machine. She'll be the first of the butler bots. Model zero zero zero. Cosworth will be model zero zero one. Material for it. That's hilarious. Lo and behold, trash can Carla in the middle of a nuclear storm. New again. Here to trade. Of course. Let's see what you got. I got a little bit of it. Right. Chunk, just fiberglass is all I need, really. Is it fiber optics or fiberglass? Fiberglass. That's a lot of... Why is there fiberglass and rat poison? I really don't understand that. Can't do that in power armor. Gonna have to take a couple rad hits. That's nice, John. I need to be alone right now. Ada's not here yet. So we're gonna sleep. I don't understand how it'd be Ada here, but okay. Remember, kids, you can always sleep radiation off. Don't try to sleep radiation off. <laughs> That's not how that works. There we go. Our Ada. Oh, we don't have the options yet, do we? Maybe. Well, you can't use because blacksmith. I think the best ones have both. Beastly.
And now it is invisible. But know why it is invisible? Well, that's definitely a glitch. A does not exist anymore, I guess. Well, look at that, A is back to life. Actually, I'll be back later. Understood. I'm in the mood for some Blamco mac and cheese. Ooh, or maybe Meyer Lurk steaks with salsa. Mm -hmm. Meyer Lurk steaks, huh? Okay, science. So it's literally been impossible to be smarter than the mechanist for a while. It's a good thing I'm only finding about this out now. Okay. Well, <coughs> one thing we could do is... You know what? Why not? Vault 88 emergency classification. Unspecified integrity breach warning. Any available vault tech personnel are required to respond under emergency protocol BT-76. My, this my, how armored you look. Thanks, Deacon. This is an emergency broadcast signal from Vault 88. Authentication code word, Impish. Still, let's wait the turret to get there. Well, <clears throat> it's going to be one heck of a time. Yes, it will. Vault 88 mm. emergency classification. Unspecified integrity breach warning. Any so the, the Minutemen are out there doing things in the Commonwealth. What kind of things, you ask? Well, I will, I will tell you. I have heard that they, uh, that they have taken over the castle, which I guess was there a long time ago, but it hasn't been for a while. It had been full of fish or monsters. Yeah, the adequate garage. Fish, maybe. I don't know. I didn't re that. Not relevant. The Minutemen are there now. That's good for them, and I guess for everyone else too. So, yeah. How about, how about some music? Up next, Crawl Out Through the Fallout. That's just the name of the song. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not recommending it. As a course of uh, scientifically recommended action. I was gonna play in Bioshock. Don't 
Gotta do the Bethesda trick to climb. Come on. Come on. This is not working. What kind of incline is this? Honestly. I might just drop dead of radiation poisoning after getting out of this water. I really should have bought Aqua Boy. Is that what that purse called? I'm sorry, I'm gonna drown, really? In power armor? your plates with style, Jack. Oh, God. Hey, check out the chassis on you. Whoa, your plates have got me cranked. The name's Zeke. Plates? Power, armor. I like a cat who digs what I dig, and the Adam cats dig power armor. I'm hip. Yeah, that's more like a Jack. We wear our power armor with style. Not like some other deadheads around. So what's your tale, Nightingale? You want a ticket to Fat City? Sure. <laughs> now we're cooking. If you think you got the chops to be an Adam cat, <laughs> you gotta be able to stretch your stuff. Check with my girl Rowdy. She'll have something for you to get your bread hooks on. I really wish that some of those things were still around so they could have a night fight with you. Excellent. How did I not have Grognak find that? I feel like that's a fail in almost every way imaginable. Rowdy has like a thousand projects going on. She's gotta have something for you. I saw you over there gabbing with Zeke. What's the story? Something about bread hooks? Bread hooks, you know? Hands? <laughs> what a square. From the looks of it, I'd say Boss Man thinks you have a little Adam cat in you. Wants old Rowdy to see if you have what it takes to shack up with us. Oh, God. I have what it takes. We'll see. I've been putting off hauling myself over the pond to work for this, but... Now you get to do it. This here's something I've been fixing up. Part of the pump system at work. Thing was clogged up like Zeke after one too many cans of cram. 
I want you to go to the <laughs> pump shed there and install it. Sure. No problem. The Warwick folks might be squares, but they are nice enough. We help them out with our skills. They give us food. Works out real nice. Oh, and uh, make sure to let June Warwick know when you're done. She's the bird in charge around there. Sure. You wear your place with style, Jack. Like in the hot rod designs, you guys got shark hot rod. Why did stuff just fall off the bridge? Ah, radiation. You unbelievable. Deacon, it's fine. You, you, you're a sense, you'll be okay. one is, uh, I hope you like Bob Crosby. Scared, huh? Huh? I really gotta learn how to aim. That wasn't a bad shot. Is he really using a knife? Well, I perceive that as a threat, so you get ready to lose that arm. Damn, that guy's tough. New business model. We team up with a mortuary. You see where I'm going with this, right? Yes, I see where you're going with that, Deacon. That's a good idea. I'm not gonna lie. But who would be the clientele? Don't need that one or this one. So that's done. What's 22? That'll be the next one. Or is it? I don't know. That'll be next. Sneaking off is supposed to be my thing. That's why my TV show is literally called Against the Green, Jacob. Go! 
Here I was wanting to spend the day reading Proust, and then you had to ruin it. Proust does not compute. Why don't you just die? Is that a goal? Right before I met you, I'd go whole days without massacring a bunch of things. Honest. What fun is that, really? Now that's just annoying. I shoot you in your helmet. We live to fight another day. And he won't. And day, etc. etc. <laughs> right off the bat. Don't mean to make you nervous, but I don't think we're alone. Huh. That was definitely his nuke. Got him. I was hoping they'd all be dead by now. Peek your head out, she will be. Whoa, it looks like Doom Guy. Too bad he's about to die, die. There you are. You having fun? Huh? I can do this all day. Slow, huh? Slow bro. How the hell did you get behind me? How did you regain health? Made a big mistake, <laughs> Such a positive guy that made Crosby. I get that a lot. So, uh, there are some rumors out there in the Commonwealth that I have heard. You know the one about the railroad? I'm just a, getting a group started. That, that actually helps. They help synths who want to escape the Institute? Yeah? Well, Where are all you people coming from? I mean, it's as far as I know. Problem uh, with you ain't dull. I mean, they may I'll say that. Tired yet? It sounds kind of crazy. Did you just change outfits and weapons mid fight? Super dangerous, I bet. I think it's way safer to just uh, sit here and play play music. Why do these objects keep moving? Because I move them, and then I forget. Here's music. Here's, uh, the ink spots? Maybe. I mean, the song is called... Maybe. I mean, it's definitely, it's for sure the ink spots. Oh, 
how in God's name are you raiders still alive? Like, how have I not? Like, where are you hiding? Oh, didn't mean to do that. Gosh darn it. I don't even understand them anymore. Except it's down there, which means... It should be... Down here? You dead bastard. We'll be here all week. Got it. The 
It's been hard to maintain the faith. So many years stranded here. But you can assure Dr. Braun, if he's even still around, that I have used the time productively. The great work is ready to begin. Where are you? Good. Very good. Tech workshops require their control board to function. During emergencies, the procedure is to store it in the reactor room. Look in there and you should find it. Where's Deacon? Damn fool. So, uh, there's a bit of, uh, news. Well, more of a, you know, uh, a rumor, really. Someone? Uh, I'm not sure who, I guess. I mean, hey, Deacon! Where are you?
What am I supposed to do? Wow, now there's a fashion statement. You aren't what I was expecting. You do have a good boy. You're from a vault. But you're clearly not with Walter. What are you doing here? Why did you help me? It was the neighborly thing to do. Such a fine sense of civic duty. Very laudable. My name is Valerie Barstow. And I was to be the overseer of this vault. But please, follow me. I have a proposal for you. It's been a hard 200 years. I was given... ...was to be my pride and joy. My vault. Then, the earthquakes. Sirens. Many died. Perhaps they were not... I should have a battle cry. ...through radiation. Ah. Somehow, I was spared. Wait. <laughs> so I'm the best I'm ever gonna have for that. I'm sorry. The construction crew didn't fare as well as me. They've never done anything hostile towards me, though. It's probably best if you put them out of their misery. Do what you have to do. I'll wait. We got fun. You almost got away. At least that's over. Let's continue. I tried digging my way to the entrance. With that control board, I could have changed everything. But there was simply too much rubble for the equipment to handle. But my work kept me going. Here, among these papers, is my life's work. I'd like to share it with you. 
Dr. Braun tasked me with something vital. A series of prototypes and their related, well, experiments that could redefine society. But, as you can see, things did not go according to plan. <laughs> oh boy. What are these experiments? Ingenious devices that will improve the efficiency and health of a community. They are admittedly prototypes and may have a design flaw or two, but nothing that can't be fixed with some elbow grease. You mentioned <laughs> Dr. Braun is the head of the Societal Preservation Plan. A brilliant scientist and administrator, and no doubt dead. A tremendous loss. Vault Tech destroyed my life. Vault Tech can burn for all I care. Oh, I. Listen, I understand that a former Vault resident could harbor certain feelings. I'll tell you what. These experiments. I will let you run them. If you find anything unconscionable, just don't do it. Or change the parameters of the experiment. I assure you these devices can make people's lives better. Just give me a chance. So these experiments can be run ethically? If you insist on hobbling the prototype's potential, yes. You could abide by as many ethical standards as you'd like. I suggest being more open-minded. But the choice will ultimately be yours. You've got a deal, Overseer. Good. Let's move forward. We cannot begin until I have my Overseer's desk to run the experiments. The information in the desk's terminal will prove Vital, I entrust you with the future of our vault. Vault 88. And uh, now, uh, a word, or several, from our sponsors. <laughs> Commonwealth Weaponry. It's a dangerous world out there. Protect yourself, protect your family. This is Johnny Mercer singing about personality. Uh, <laughs> if you got it, you should appreciate it. Because it's not necessarily common. Johnny Mercer.
We're going to make this vault livable. Overseer's desk and the proper vault tech terminal. Look alive. Yeah? Ahem. You know, I'm having second thoughts on the whole recall code. Wait. You read it, didn't you? No, I haven't read it yet. Good. Please don't. It'll make it easier to sleep at night. Look alive. What you... You know, I'm having second thoughts on the whole recall code. Wait. You read it, didn't you? Why shouldn't I read it? Just in case it gets stuck in your head. You know, like if I say Rad Roach. Now, don't think of Rad Roach. See? You thought of it. And if it's a real simple code, then one slip and uh, goodbye, Deacon. Anyway, only read it if you have to. Hey. This. Please, I beg your indulgence. I've waited so long, but we must not dally. The work compels us. The vault was supposed to have a very specific set of residents. After all, to conduct human trials, you need the perfect test subjects. So what makes perfect test subjects? Healthy. Well, healthy enough. And people we can get an accurate baseline on quickly. And they need a willingness to take on a certain element of risk. I'm not gonna toy with people's lives. Think of the greater good here. But fine. You're running the experiments. If you choose a risk-free path, it will compromise the value of the research. But that's on your head. Choose wisely. Now, 
I see you've already turned on the vault's radio beacon. Good. While we wait for word to spread, perhaps you might use this time to explore Vault 88. If you can clear some of the rubble, you may be able to access some of the other building sectors. Any materials or equipment that survived may prove useful in our experiments. This is Diamond City Radio, and I'm, uh, you know, this is me, Travis. Anyway, let's find out what Danny Kay knows about civilization. Wow. Time to sell some stuff. To talk to people. That's okay. I don't do that either. This better be an emergency. Calm down soon, you're acting like Carrington. No, your friend looks kind of familiar. Maybe. We're so delighted you've chosen us for your shopping. Let's see what you got. Anything. Well, guys, I think that's actually where I'm gonna end it today. I know it's really, um. Super mutants use it as an ambush point. Huh. I know it's not as long as the other videos. But between recording and school, I'm exhausted. So I'm gonna say goodnight for tonight, and I'll see you guys next time. And remember, kids, the only true path to happiness is through science. And hopefully you've learned that.